Hey guys, welcome back to another Google Earth Studio video. So I made a few videos on Google Earth Studio already and a couple of you have asked, how do you create lines or draw paths in your animation that's kind of stuck or tracked properly into that scene. Now, if you're new to this channel, I make animation and video effects tutorials. So if you like this sort of content, then maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. But this is gonna be a two-part video. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually create the path or the proper way of creating that using what we call a KML file. And then in the second part, I'm gonna show you how to create or really focus on showing you how to properly make 3D fly-through animations and really smooth them out to make them look really good. Now, the way we do this is by using Google My Maps. Now, this is exactly the same as Google Maps. So if you have a Google account, it's free to use. But the difference with this is that you can draw paths and then we can export that data into Google Earth Studio. So I've zoomed in here on the area of the map that I'm working with or the area that you're going to add your animation over essentially. And I wanna create a path. So you can see that I've already done that here by creating a line that runs along here. Now, if I just turn that off, if you come up here, there's a draw line function and you can add basically any of these different routes. You can add a driving route or you can just draw your own custom shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start down here and I'm just roughly going to draw out a path kind of moving along my timeline here. Now you can always go back and readjust this. So you're just trying to get it basically roughly where you need it. And then I just hit enter once that's done. Now I can give this one a title. So this is gonna be my line two. And I can just disable that one. Now with my line one, I'm just gonna delete that because we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna work on this new line down here. Now you'll notice it has created all of these points. Now if you drag on a point here, you can basically just readjust that line. And you'll notice that a great little feature is if I move a point, it adds new little points in here that allows me to get more of a fine tune, you know, fine tune my path just to kind of get it exactly where I need it. So I've gone through now and adjusted my line and I've just made those fine tune adjustments. Now you need to get it right here at this point. You can export this again if you need to go back and change it, but really you wanna try and focus on getting this right right now. There's a little button next to that line. If you click that, you get a little bit of customization over that line. So you can change the width, you can change the color here if I wanted to make it say a yellow line or an orange line. I can drag up on the, the width of that line. You don't get a ton of customization, but if you're just trying to draw out a path, then this is going to be absolutely fine. Now, once we've got that, we wanna get that into Google Earth Studio. And we do this using what we call a KML file. So we come over here and click this button over here and we can export the data as a KML. You can select export as a KML because I don't have any little icons or anything like that. I can just use this. Then it's automatically going to download that file onto my computer. And then I can switch over to Google Earth Studio. Now, if you're brand new to Google Earth Studio, already have a video, which I'll link down in the description below, which will walk you through all the basics. I'm gonna obviously show you how to set up a new project and basically import that data in this video. So you may be able to pick up how to use the program. It's quite simple to use, but if you want a full sort of more in-depth crash course, I already have a video, which I'll link down in the description. So I'm gonna start a new blank project here. I can call this one my track. We need to set this to be earth. You can set your dimensions here. And for the time code, I'm gonna set this to be about 10 seconds and set this to 24 frames a second and hit start. So for me, I was down here in New Zealand. So I come down here and this is the area that I'm working between these two lakes here. Now, you may not see that overlays panel. So what you can do is come up to overlays, import, and then the KML. So this is where we're going to select that KML file and you can open that up and there it is. There's that basically that line drawn out 
over our map and it lines up nicely. Now, if you like creating a map animations or just animations in general, then you can also check out my Animation Master course, which I'll link down in the description below. And in that, I go through step-by-step step how to use After Effects to create all different types of animations from titles to graphs to map animations, right through to more advanced animations that you'd see in Vox style videos. There's over 40 videos and over 50 animations to make throughout the entire course. And it's also aimed at complete beginners. So even if you've never used After Effects before, I walk you through the absolute basics right through to more advanced features of After Effects. Now, again, if you're interested in that, then you can check it out via the link in the description below. Now we can start animating our camera to kind of follow the path that we need it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this panel so we can see what we're doing. And I wanna come down here and basically just create a set of keyframes for my camera rotation and for my camera position. And then I'm gonna move across in the timeline a little bit here. And I'm using my middle mouse wheel here to kind of bring the camera down. I wanna sort of bring the camera down to here and create another set of keyframes. Sort of bring the camera in like this so that we kind of get a little bit of an animation, something like this. And then it's just a matter of sort of following that path as I sort of animate my camera to follow along that path. I'm bringing my camera up here, maybe bring this all the way to the end and I can just create another set of keyframes there. So if I need to speed that up, I can bring those keyframes in there, add another set of keyframes in there. So I'm just kind of animating the path of the camera, whatever I need it to be. Maybe when I get to this point, I'm gonna start bringing the camera around something like this. And we sort of have this animation going like this. Now at the moment, it doesn't look very smooth, right? It's kind of a bit clanky and the camera sort of stops and starts. And this is where, you know, we need to start working on trying to smooth out this animation. Now in the next video, which I'm gonna upload next week, I'm gonna go into this in a lot more detail and show you how to get the best sort of smooth camera movements. But as a quick way of doing this, if I come up to auto ease, that's going to help massively smoothing out all of those animations. You can see it's still not exactly right. And so this is where we would come in here and start to mess around with the graph. So what we can do is actually start to drag down on some of these points and start to smooth out this animation. Now, don't worry if this is all going over your head or it seems too hard, because I'm gonna go through this in a lot more detail and show you how to create some really cool animations. But basically, I'm just trying to smooth out a lot of this animation here. So you can see already that's a lot better than what we had. So now the next part is trying to animate that line. Now, this is one limitation with the KML. We can't animate the line inside of Google Earth Studio. So we need to do this inside of After Effects. Now, the way that I'm gonna show you is basically just the, you know, the, the, the cheat way of doing this or the easy way of doing this and probably the fastest way as well. But basically what we're going to do is we're gonna export two versions of this animation. So I'm gonna bring up this overlays panel and I want to leave that line turned on so that we have our animation with our line. This is where you're gonna select that destination. I'm gonna drag this watermark down into the bottom right and you need to include this watermark when you're exporting any videos from Google Earth Studio. You can select if you want a clean or you want overlays over the top. I'm just gonna leave this as a clean map, high texture. I need to leave this as After Effects and leave this as global. And then you can set your dimensions of what you want and then you can basically just hit start. Now you'll need to leave your browser open while you're doing this. As soon as you change a tab, it'll stop rendering. So you need to leave that open until it's basically finished rendering. All right, so now that's rendered out. Before we move on to After Effects, what I want to do is bring up that overlays panel. I'm gonna turn off that KML line that we created. And this time I wanna render out a clean version. So for this one, I'm just gonna leave this to be all the same. I can even call this one track two. And I just wanna have all the same settings. I wanna leave this in the same position. And then I can export this one and let that render out. 
So both of those are now rendered out. We're gonna switch over here to After Effects. I've just started a new project here. And what we can do is come up to File, down to Scripts and run Script File. We're gonna to navigate to that track mat and I can select that first track Dot JSX, open that up. It's automatically going to create a new composition here with that animation and line already there. I can then basically come up to file down to scripts, run script file. And this one, I'm going to select that track two, which is in that second render that we created. Open that up. So it's created another composition here, one with a clean animation and one with the track. I'm going to select this version here from track two and copy that under my map layer. So essentially what we've got is we've got two layers that are overlaid, but the line is the only thing that's basically different about them. And now we're ready to basically try and simulate an animation of that line. Now, because you've got two layers, what we can do is if I just come up here to my mask tool, I can just draw a mask which goes across you can even go into the mask settings here and add a little bit of feather. And essentially, we don't even have to really animate that. You can just add a little bit of animation on here at the start. Basically, what's happening here is that it's animating that line on our screen as the camera's flying along. So if I watch for the final animation here, you can see that we've pretty much got that animated line over our scene. Now, this is a really simple way or a, a, of cheating this particular effect. And if you're just doing a really simple path, this is a great way of doing that. So that's how you work with a KML file inside of Google Earth Studio. Hopefully you've picked up a few tips and tricks throughout this video. In the next video, as I said, I'm gonna focus on how to create really smooth camera animations and some really cool dynamic camera movements. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can check out more videos over here on the side of the screen. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.